What I discovered last night was that um, the stars are actually etched into the walls as well. Not only the archetype of what the constellation is, but actually the stars themselves. So if you look at the post I did, you can see in the exact positions at the pupils of the eyes. Something told me the pupils of the eyes are actually the uh, position of the pyramids and that there was one right in the center as well. So there's one here, there's one here, and there's one here. And the way that they're positioned are exactly the shape of the pyramids in Orion's belt. And um, so I looked at Orion's belt to see if it was, you know, a match, and yeah, it was a match. But then also I noticed that the Cygnus is the bird, so it's the black swan that's over the eyes of Orion. And so I kept asking myself the question, why are the stars of Cygnus also overlapping exactly where the Orion stars are. And what I figured out was that at some point in time in our history, the stars of Cygnus, which are exactly the same shape as Orion's, overlapped exactly where the Orion stars are. So this is Altinak, Alnilam, and Mintaka get overlapped by Cygni in, in the Cygnus constellation, the swan. They get overlapped also by Seder and by um, Guinea, uh, Guinea. So those three stars overlap the three stars of Orion's belt. When they do is when the pyramid was built. So I looked up on ChatGPT to see what would happen, how, you know, at one point in time in history, have those three stars overlapped each other. And of course, this means that uh, Vitruvian Man and Orion is getting his wings. So it's basically becoming this f full balance of masculine and feminine. And as a result, is getting his like angelic wings, right? Because that's the story of Enoch, who becomes an angel, becomes the angel Metatron. So what, uh, what I found was that in order for uh, that to have happened, it would have happened 12,800 years ago, which is exactly when the Younger Dryers was, and there's believed to have been a mass, massive comet that hit the Earth uh, at that time, which ended the Ice Age. And, you know, ocean levels went way up and everything. So this caused a massive flood. And it also created a, what was believed to be a pole shift at that time. So the pole shift actually that was created was really, um, you know, problematic because it moved the Earth's tilt, its axial tilt, 